What is up everybody and welcome back to my channel. I am back, it is Tuesday. You know what that means, it is Target Tuesday. Before we get into all that, I wanna say hello. If you are new here, my name is Katie. This is my security guard and lovely boyfriend, Brian. And we are here today at Target. If you are not subscribed, you should definitely give this video a big thumbs up and hit the subscribe button down below if you love like home decor videos, anything to do with like Target, home goods, hauls, shopping. If you like videos like that, then you're definitely gonna love it here, so make sure you hit the subscribe button down below. My 10,000 subscriber giveaway is still going on if you haven't entered yet I will leave the video down below with all the rules and where you have to comment to enter that way you know what you need to do to be all set to go to maybe win one of the three prizes that I'm giving away it's going until February 5th so if you haven't entered yet I will go ahead and leave that video down below if you are interested like I said in the very beginning today is Target Tuesday so we are back at Target I've seen some hints of Easter decor maybe in the dollar spot Opal House stuff so Hoping to maybe find some at my Target today. We're also interested in buying me a bike. Brian just got a bike and we really wanna go on bike rides together. So we are gonna be looking at bikes, but I think it might be a lot cheaper for me to get one at Walmart, but we're still gonna take a look here. Of course, I also have a pickup order that I need to get that I placed yesterday. And just gonna kinda make our way around the store, see what's new, show you guys what's up, any good clearance deals. So in an effort to not blab on forever, let's head into Target and let's get shopping. Okay, first things first, gonna pick up our pickup order and I'll show you what we got. Okay, this is what we got. It's like the big, giant, like fridge Brita because we're so used to having like the water that comes from the fridge and we don't in our new apartment and we drink a lot of water <laughs> and it doesn't taste that great so we decided to pick this up for inside of our fridge. Okay, this has caused quite the commotion on my Instagram this week. I purchased this shampoo. I bought the straight hair base. It's really cool. A lot of you guys have told me that they are a subscription service. You can buy their shampoos online. They've been around forever. But I guess now they're selling their products at Target. I'm also hearing that it's a lot cheaper to do it this way than it is if you like order it, but it's way more customizable if you like order from them online. So this is their Target line. What you do is you pick a base like based off of what kind of hair you have. Like I said, I got a straight hair base because my hair is really straight, but they have other options as well then they have these add-ins so you can choose up to three and it comes with two little like gel packs that you pour in and then you shake it they have a bunch of different ones to choose from anti-frizz soothe scalp deep condition volumize color protection and then this side is shine curl definition thermal protection lengthen and strengthen i did volumize then i did shine and lengthen and I really, really like it so far, but I just wanted to show it to you guys. For me, it's on an end cap. It's very like, it draws you in. It's like very colorful and pretty. And I just wanted to show it to you guys in case you are interested because I really, really like it and I've been getting a ton of questions about it. So I just wanted to show it to you guys in case you're interested. Nothing new to me in the Target dollar spot, but I will continue to be on the hunt for all of the cute Easter items that are starting to pop up for some people. There is a ton of clearance all around the store. So definitely make sure you're checking all the end caps and stuff. Lots of like home decor clearance too. These are just two end caps and my sneaking suspicion probably tells me that there's even more clearance on these back end caps. Wapa! <laughs> yep, I was right. 30% off. Just a bunch of random stuff. These are like flannel sheet sets. These are definitely great if you live in like a colder climate in Florida. They would be way, way, way too hot but they do have some really cute neutral sets in all different sizes that are 30% off. I'm desperately looking for the smaller version of this planter to use as a utensil holder. It's literally out of stock at every single store in Florida and Massachusetts, and it's been out of stock online. It does come back into stock a couple times a day because I have restock notifications, but they only put one, and then it sells out in like five seconds, but I saw someone else do it on Instagram, and it looks really cute, so I've been desperately looking for the small version of this, and it has these cute little like loops on the side. So I'm still on the hunt. I'll let you guys know when I succeed. I like this little wreath. I have not seen this before, but it has these like tiny little like buds all over it. And it just has like little, some hints of like pink and it's mostly like yellow and green, but I like that. It's pretty, it has the little like loop at the top. I'm surprised to see like how many of these they still have. I really like this vase a lot and I'm surprised it's not sold out already. 
Oh, I kind of want to get it. 20 bucks. Honestly, not bad. And it's really nice. This also could be cute for a utensil holder, but it might be a little bit like too tall. The other one is honestly the perfect size, but this one could be really, really nice too. And then this is just a cute vase. They just have so many cute vases this year. I've said that like a hundred times, but I just love them. I'm also shocked to see that they still have this in my store. The longer it sits here though, like it's starting to get some wear and tear. Um, so you might be able to like ask for a discount. Oh yeah, like even someone broke this handle off. What the heck? It's right in the drawer. Could probably get a discount on this because it is damaged and it could be fixed because luckily someone was nice enough to at least put it in the drawer for someone to try to fix, but oh, I really wish we had somewhere to put this because I love it. Surprised to see that they still have one of these too. These have been wildly popular, like the wooden ball lamp. Really simple, pretty. It's not my favorite. I think it's like a little bit too short. I don't know, but they've been really popular. So I'm surprised to see that they still have one at my store. This fig plant is so pretty. I think I've showed it before. I just love the pot that it comes in. I'm just surprised how much stuff they still have in stock. Like it's pretty well stocked. I don't wanna go in like a full circle. People get upset when I move the camera too much. But I'm just surprised how much stuff they still have at my store. And update, Brian said he doesn't like that. So it's a no-go. That's what I get for asking for his opinion. Just found these over in the bathroom section. Great for organization, honestly. They're like these stackable organizer with a drawer so you can like put stuff on top and then these come out and they actually slide out really, really nice. They have like a couple different sizes. This one's like a little bit thinner and they also have different colors. They have like brushed nickel, white, more of like a bronzy color. And yeah, they just have like a bunch of different ones. This is like two small drawers with a thing. This is like a big drawer with a top that you can put stuff on, skinnier ones and then like thinner ones so a lot of different options and they are all 20 or 15 dollars so 15 to 20 dollars and i just think they're really good for organization so if you were on the hunt for something like this target might be your best bet just found one of these tiny cute little risers i've seen people talking about these apparently it's a turbot but i've seen a lot of people using it as like a decorative riser it's honestly so cute it doesn't have a price on it Oh, there's another one down there. That one's like a lot darker though, if you can see. It's like, it looks burnt. It's actually really weird, but they are only $8. This is so cute. Just so happened that they had a little plant right here, but like that's what it would look like. That's so adorable. It's only $8. It definitely adds like an extra special touch and just like a, like a layering aspect, I guess. But this plant is actually perfect for it as well. This plant is $15, it is threshold, and here's like a picture of the bottom if you guys are interested, but that's adorable. Just found this cool like beverage dispenser, but it's like an infuser. I have not seen this here before. It is $25 and it's pretty big. It looks like it probably holds like a gallon maybe, if not more. But yeah, that's really cool. It has like a little dispenser at the bottom. Cool if you're trying to drink some like infused water you can do all different types of fruit and it's super healthy okay you guys know i've been on the hunt for a kettle for like weeks and a lot of you said an electric one and i didn't think that brian would ever want one but we're in target and he's like oh it's pretty cool he actually goes well our stove is electric anyway so what's the difference and fair point the only thing is like you have to keep it on the counter all the time and like i'm not really sure i'm into that but i do think this would be way easier but either way you have to like fill it and like turn something on so like i don't i don't really know but they are super nice. We're leaning, I don't know which one we're leaning towards. We like the black one, but the white or the silver one would match with our appliances better, but they'd both match. The price difference is only like $4, so it doesn't really matter, but I don't really know. I know you guys, a lot of you said that electric is the way to go, so we might be hopping on the train. Okay, we grabbed the black one. We peeked at both of them and the black one was just like, had a little bit more wow factor. It has this cork detailing on it that's really nice so we're gonna we're gonna try it and see how it works out something in this aisle might be a hint for an upcoming collab that i'm really excited about i don't know we'll see but i'm really really excited okay saw this on instagram too head over to your sports section they're having some like crazy deals on cups so like 70 percent off deals on a lot of these water bottles which is really cool if this is one of them, that's actually cool. You just squeeze it and the water comes right out for, be cool for our bike, but these are only two bucks. 
It's actually a good deal. But yeah, check out, this is in like the sports section. They're like getting rid of all their older cups and getting all new cups, so it's definitely worth it. And they're all like jumbled up too, so definitely scan a lot of them on the price scanners, not with Target Circle, in the store scanner to see which ones are on sale. Checking out the bikes, it's very slim pickings, which is, we're like back into like phase one of quarantine when like everybody wanted a bike and now everyone wants one again. I'm definitely gonna get one, I just don't know which one. This one is calling my attention. I think that's a, these are men's bikes, but this looks like a women's bike. Okay, we're thinking about this one. I just tried to like ride it, but it's really hard because I'm in really tight jeans with a purse on my waist and I'm in a store and wearing a mask, so there's just a lot of like stress involved with like trying to test out this bike. I like it a lot, honestly, it's it's kind of pricey. It's 250, but like if it's like a decent bike and it will like last, then th I don't really see an issue, but I don't know. Tons of clearance on like backpacks, all that stuff. And then also in the camping aisle, so if you like to camp, they have a lot of clearance over here on like the little like propane tanks that sort of thing just tons of like camping gear equipment on clearance this setup is just so cute look at this this is like the new egg chair kind of it's huge like it's freaking massive it's definitely like a two-person chair but it looks really comfy studio mcgee be tripping with this price though it is 550 dollars and those are like some of the accessories that go with it. It's really pretty, but it's very expensive. I mean, I guess because it's a two person chair, the fact that it's double the price of a normal egg chair maybe makes sense. We finally got the new colors of my favorite pajamas at my Target. They have also the shorts and the sweatshirts. I never get the matching sweatshirts, I just get the pants. I have both of those colors, it's like blue stripe mauve stripe dark gray and then these are the two new ones the light green and the light purple i just love these pants so much i literally wear them every single day he will tell you every day. favorite pants they're the softest pants ever if you don't have them you need to get them the same target line has all these new like tie-dye sets as well they have like a greenish blue one and then more of like a pinky cream one and it comes with like a sweatshirt or comes in a sweatshirt and a pair of pants. These are also really, really soft, but these are a bit more thick. So I like those ones because they're way thinner and I live in Florida and it gets really, really hot. So I don't really like to wear like thicker sweatpants, especially when I sleep, but they're still really, really, really soft. These ones are just thicker. So I guess just depends where you live and what you like, but these are really great too. Colsey is another PJ brand at Target that's really, really popular. These are new these new like sweatpants and they have like a matching crop sweatshirt as well. These are also really, really cute, but these are even thicker than the last ones that I showed. So they definitely have like different thicknesses. They also have in shorts like for everybody, but these are really cute and this brand is very popular. More like short sets from them. They also have like just cute loungewear in general. So they have like these cute crop t-shirts. Then they have these like sets. So this is actually a set that's actually really cute. A couple different colors in that and then some separates more of their loungewear they have these like little tanks these are really popular and then these ones which are more of like a comfy bra alternative and then they do have some really cute like biker shorts as well just like really comfy looks like they've moved some of the colorful clothes to over here this is quite confusing that's the front why does it scoop down so low that would like literally be to the middle of my rib cage. Isn't that kind of weird looking? I don't, it just scoops down so low. I love the color and I love the cut of the dress. Like it's totally a Katie dress, but what the heck is that? Like, <laughs> I'm so confused. This is a really cute like seersucker dress, like a pink long striped seersucker dress. It is the A New Day brand, $27.99. It's actually, Really, really cute. I want this shirt really bad. I had it in my hand the other day and I didn't get it. And then today when I was getting dressed, I'm like, wish I had that shirt that I wanted. It's just white with this little like eyelet, like bronze detail, but it's just, it's just like a little like baby doll shirt. Really simple, easy to throw on, comfortable. It's really cute. The colorful jeans have expanded over into my universal thread section. 
We have like teal. This is like a pretty bright yellow, like an acid wash pink, and then lavender. Lavender pants are in. They even have more over there too, more purple pants. These yellow like mom jean shorts are really cute. They have really, really big pockets. They, I don't know if they'd work for me. It seems like the inseam is pretty short. I really, really like these. Okay, also, tell me if anybody else does this. So the first pair right here is a zero. I always go and look for like a size that would actually fit me. And then I feel like it's like a better way to be able to see like if you think they would actually like fit your body. Does anybody else do that? It's hard for me to know like if I would like it on me. So I go and dig out the one that does. Does anybody else do that or am I just weird? They also have these same ones. Well, actually this one has a cuff in like an acid wash purple. I feel like those are going to be popular. And then they have these like cutoff ones that are like raw hem in like a bright salmon -y orange. Holding these shorts and I'm like, I wish the fitting rooms are open. And they, they oh my God, they look open from the side. I don't think that they are. They're still closed, but it looks like maybe they're thinking about opening them soon. Please, Target, open the fitting rooms. I'm begging you to please open the fitting rooms. I know I like breezed past them last time, but I wanted to show a little bit more of like some of the spring stuff that they just got. So they got these and they're like woven, but I don't know, they have a couple different colors. It's kind of like hard to like say what they are. They're like, it looks like wrapped almost. Then they have these. These are really cool. They have them in a bunch of different colors and they look like a long like paper clip almost. And they have them in like that color, like tealy blue, yellow, and purple. So they have all those and just like really, really cute stuff. I really, really like these two. They have like the three little like opal little beads and then like a little purple one. So they have like danglies and then just like all different shapes and colors. Really cute earrings for the spring and their prices are super reasonable. I'm obsessed with the A New Day sweaters. They have them in so many pretty colors. I really want this one right now. It's like a highlighter greenish yellow type color. It's really cute. They're so soft. They're such good quality. I have the purple one, but I love half zips. I'm like a half zip and pullover lover. I don't like full zips. I don't know. I'm just a weirdo like that. And then I also love this one too, like a really pale yellow color. These are so nice and thick and soft on the inside. I'm weird. So I like my arms to be covered, but I don't like my legs to be fully covered. I get too hot, um, but I don't like my arms to be cold. So I like to be covered, but that's enough about me. I just really like this sweatshirt. <laughs> I see an intense sleeve over here. So this is like a t-shirt with a, oh, I just made one fall. I will pick that up, I promise. So they have it in this purple color, but it's basically just like a plain t-shirt with the funnest puffy sleeve attached to it. Most fun, not funnest, sorry. But this is so cute. Again, this is the A New Day brand and this t-shirt's only $15. They have such cute stuff. They have it in, in here, black, white, and this really, really pretty purple color. So many cute like beach bags and stuff too. I feel like because I'm in Florida, my Target is like a little bit ahead in all of this stuff. Well, we have swimsuits all year round as I told you guys before, but they have just a lot more than usual. So many bright colors. They always have these like exhilaration basics type ones. You can mix and match them. I like everything to match, but lots of like bright colored ones, all different colors, patterns, cuts. So many bathing suits this year. They have like tankini style ones, one pieces, in like every color you can imagine. And then, <laughs> as I said last time, the active wear ones, which I had a really hard time describing what you might use them for. Speaking of active wear, these Joy Lab sets are really, really cute. I really wanted to get the leggings, but I'm hearing really, really bad things about them. I'm hearing from a lot of people or seeing on Instagram and the reviews online that after you wear them like twice, they like rip in the butt, almost like, um, you know when you wear tights and they get like a run in them? I guess these are doing the same thing, which is pretty disappointing because I have never tried Joy Lab, but I was really excited to try because I really like the colors that they have. And I wanted to get like a matching set because they have like the tank top and everything. Everything is coordinating, but I'm not hearing great things. So if you have these, definitely let me know what you think, but I wouldn't recommend them just based off of what I've heard. Just want to show you what we're going to get because it's just easier to do it in here. I'm going to pick up these yellow shorts. Maybe I'll insert a clip if they look cute. I don't know. And then we're going to get this black 
um, like electric kettle. We're gonna give that a whirl, and then the Brita thing that we already paid for. So these are the two things that we are picking up. This is today's Target haul. <laughs> I can hear you. <laughs> He's chewing a piece of kettle. Oh my god. What? Well, I don't get it. What? You're like listening to the innards of my mouth. <laughs> This is your moment to shine, baby. Hey guys, Target Tuesday. Woo! Alrighty, you guys. Well, that is gonna be it for me today. I hope that you enjoyed this week's version of version. This week's rendition of Target Tuesday. L uh, words are so hard today. Thank you so much for watching. If you are new here and you haven't yet, definitely make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. Why am I pointing down? Oh my god. I can do this. You can do it. You can. You can. Tell do me, it. I can do it. You can do it. Okay. <sighs> Definitely make sure you give this video a big thumbs up and make sure you hit the subscribe button down. So sorry. Alrighty, you guys. Well, that is going to be it for me today. I hope that you loved this week's Target Tuesday. Okay, that's a good start. That's a really good start. I really hope that you guys enjoyed seeing all of the new stuff going on around Target. As always, I'll be back next week with another Target Tuesday. But until then, definitely make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. Make sure you hit the subscribe button down below if you haven't yet. And I will see you next time or we will see you next time. Bye, guys. Bye.